A shocking discovery. Microplastics inside us. Did you know that tiny plastic particles are likely present in your body right now? It's a startling reality that many of us are unaware of. These particles, called microplastics, are everywhere. They are in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. They are a growing concern for our health. Scientists are increasingly worried about the potential long-term effects on our bodies. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic, smaller than 5 millimeters in size. Despite their minuscule size, their impact is anything but small. They come from the breakdown of larger plastic items. Over time, these items degrade into smaller and smaller pieces. These particles don't just disappear. They persist in the environment for hundreds of years. They linger in the environment and easily find their way into our bodies. Every sip of water or bite of food could be a potential source. In this video, we'll explore how microplastics get into our systems. From the air we breathe to the food we consume, these particles are pervasive. We'll also examine the health risks they pose. Potential issues range from inflammation to more serious conditions like cancer. Finally, we'll discuss ways to reduce our exposure and even detoxify our bodies from these hidden invaders. Simple lifestyle changes can make a big difference. These tiny fragments break down from larger plastic products. This process is slow and insidious. This breakdown happens over time due to sunlight, wind, and water. These natural forces contribute to the fragmentation of plastic waste. Sadly, this degradation leads to microplastics infiltrating our ecosystems and ultimately ourselves. The cycle of contamination is relentless. Our oceans and waterways are teeming with these particles, which are then ingested by marine life. This contamination moves up the food chain. Guess what? Seafood is a common way microplastics end up in our bodies. Every meal could be a source of these tiny invaders. Microplastics are not a problem for the future. They are a pressing issue we must address today. They are a problem right now. Immediate action is needed to mitigate their impact. We need to understand them and learn how to protect ourselves. Knowledge and proactive measures are our best defense. Microplastics have many ways of entering our bodies. These tiny particles are pervasive in our environment. One major source is the water we drink. Whether it's bottled or tap water, microplastics can be present. Even tap water can contain these tiny particles. Studies have shown that microplastics are found in water supplies around the world. This contamination happens when plastic waste pollutes our water sources. Over time, larger pieces of plastic break down into microplastics. Think about plastic bottles, bags, and packaging. These everyday items contribute significantly to the problem. When these items break down, they release microplastics into the environment. This process can take years, but the impact is long-lasting. Food is another way microplastics get inside us. They can be found in a variety of foods, from processed snacks to fresh seafood. Processed foods are often contaminated, and even seafood is a culprit. Marine life ingests microplastics, which then make their way up the food chain to us. Think about it. Fish and other marine animals often ingest microplastics in the water. These particles accumulate in their bodies. When we eat these animals, we consume the microplastics too. It's a hidden ingredient in our meals. It's not just what we eat and drink though. Microplastics can also come from the products we use every day. Even the products we use daily can introduce microplastics into our systems. From cleaning supplies to personal care items, the risk is everywhere. Household dust can contain microplastics from synthetic fabrics and carpets. Every time we clean, we might be stirring up these particles. Many cosmetics and personal care products contain microplastics as well. These are often used as exfoliants or fillers. These tiny particles can be absorbed through our skin or inhaled. The journey of microplastics into our bodies is indeed sneaky and pervasive. While more research is needed to fully understand the implications, the presence of microplastics in our bodies is deeply concerning. These tiny particles have been found in various organs and tissues. Studies are increasingly showing potential links between microplastics and a range of health issues, from minor irritations to serious conditions. One major concern is that microplastics can disrupt our hormones. These disruptions can lead to a variety of health problems, including reproductive issues and developmental disorders. Some plastics contain chemicals that mimic hormones in our bodies, known as endocrine disruptors. 
These chemicals can interfere with the normal functioning of our hormonal systems, leading to imbalances that affect our overall health. Our immune systems may also be at risk from microplastic exposure. Some studies suggest that microplastics can trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, which are harmful processes that can damage cells and tissues. This can weaken our immune system, making us more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Another alarming finding is the potential for microplastics to cause damage to our digestive system. These particles can accumulate in the gut, leading to irritation and other gastrointestinal issues. Sharp edges of microplastics could irritate and damage the lining of our gut, potentially leading to chronic conditions. Finally, emerging research suggests a possible link between microplastics and neurological problems. These could range from cognitive impairments to more severe neurological disorders. While more studies are needed to confirm these findings, this potential threat cannot be ignored. It highlights the urgent need for more research on the long-term impacts of microplastic exposure so we can better understand and mitigate these risks. The good news is that there are things we can do to reduce our exposure to microplastics. One of the most effective steps is to filter our water. Using a water filter can remove microplastics and other contaminants from our drinking water. Look for filters that are certified to remove microplastics. Another crucial step is to reduce our consumption of single-use plastics. We can start by avoiding plastic water bottles and using reusable alternatives instead. Say no to plastic bags and choose reusable bags for shopping. Our food choices also matter. Opting for fresh whole foods and limiting processed foods can help reduce microplastic intake. It's important to be mindful of seafood choices. Smaller fish that are lower on the food chain tend to have less microplastic accumulation. While we can't completely eliminate our exposure to microplastics, there are ways to help our bodies naturally remove these particles. One important step is to support our natural detoxification pathways. Our liver plays a crucial role in filtering toxins from our blood. We can support liver function by eating a balanced diet, limiting alcohol consumption, and managing stress levels. Increasing our fiber intake can also aid in removing microplastics from our digestive system. Fiber adds bulk to our stool, helping to move waste through our intestines more efficiently. Aim to include plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in your diet. Exercise is another powerful tool for detoxification. Sweating during exercise helps to eliminate toxins through our skin. Regular physical activity also improves blood circulation and supports overall health. The fight against microplastic pollution is not something we can win alone. It requires a collective effort from individuals, governments, and industries. We need to demand more sustainable practices from the companies we support. Choose brands that are actively reducing their plastic footprint and opting for eco-friendly packaging. Supporting organizations that are working to combat plastic pollution is crucial. Many nonprofits are dedicated to cleaning up our oceans and advocating for stricter regulations on plastic production and disposal. Consider donating or volunteering your time to these organizations. Educating ourselves and others about the issue of microplastic pollution is key to driving change. Share your knowledge with friends, family, and your community. The more people are aware of the problem, the more likely we are to find solutions together. Reducing microplastic exposure is an ongoing journey that requires conscious effort. However, by making small changes in our daily lives, we can make a significant difference. Start by swapping single-use plastic items for reusable alternatives. Carry a reusable water bottle, coffee cup, and shopping bags. When grocery shopping, choose products with minimal plastic packaging. Opt for loose fruits and vegetables instead of pre-packaged options. Consider buying in bulk when possible to reduce packaging waste. Be mindful of the personal care products you use. Many cosmetics and toiletries contain microplastics. Look for products labeled as microplastic-free or choose natural alternatives. Spreading awareness about microplastic pollution is crucial for creating a healthier future. Start by talking to your friends and family about the issue. 
share what you've learned about the sources of microplastics and the potential health risks they pose. Use social media to amplify your voice. Share informative articles, videos, and infographics about microplastics. Engage in online discussions and encourage others to join the movement against plastic pollution. Support policies and initiatives aimed at reducing plastic waste. Contact your elected officials and urge them to support legislation that promotes sustainable practices and reduces plastic consumption. We live in a world inundated with plastic, and microplastics have become an unfortunate reality of our modern lives. The presence of these tiny particles in our bodies is concerning, and more research is needed to fully understand their long-term health effects. However, we are not powerless. By taking proactive steps to reduce our exposure and support our body's natural detoxification processes, we can minimize the potential risks. Remember, every small action counts. By making conscious choices in our daily lives, we can protect our health and contribute to a cleaner, healthier planet for ourselves and future generations. Let's choose to reduce our plastic footprint and create a future where microplastic pollution is a thing of the past.